and free code camp going through JavaScript algorithms and data structures. Uh, we are in the basic JavaScript course on challenge 25. In challenge 25, we are going to escape literal quotes in strings. So uh, when you are defining a string, you must start and end with a single or double quote. If you start with a single, you end with a single. If you start with a double, you end with a double. What happens if you need to? You need a literal quote inside your string. In JavaScript, you can escape a quote from considering it uh, by using a backslash. So not a normal slash, it is a backslash inside the quote. So for example, our string is wrapped in quotes, but inside the string we have a quote with the backslash before it and a backslash before it. That signals JavaScript, hey, the following uh, quote, don't end the string at that, continue on until you see the next one without a slash. So. Uh, if you were to print this in console, it would be a string with a quote inside it. So we want to use backslashes to assign a string to my str and then print it to console. Well, I guess it'll print it to console, okay? So it looks like they want us to say this exactly. So all we would do is say I am backslash quote double quoted and then again backslash quote string oh I'm a double quoted string in if I can type today inside and then again we need a quote inside the string backslash quote double quotes backslash quote and then a period Make sure our spacing is correct. That's the only thing that should trip us up. And that's it. So now it prints it to the council. It's all in quotes. But if we actually did this ourselves, and we log this, you would see it prints it like a normal piece of text because it is a string. Uh, and it is double quoted like it wants it to be. And that's it.